Cobalt by Lowe's. And I'm going to tell you a story about a guy I know that his air compressor blew up because he didn't take care of it. And it was not manufactured very well. Yes, you got to take care of that air compressor. Uh, I know an individual that owned what we called the, uh, I think, and I got the photos to follow up with this. But this was back in about 19 or 2000, uh, I want to say about 2008, that uh, this uh, incident occurred. And I decided, since I was going through some old, old photos that I had, I uh, found the compressor. And it struck me that, hey, we use compressors in our garage, so, hey, do we take care of them? And unfortunately for him, he bought an air compressor, as you can uh, see in the pictures here. Uh, it was an Ingersoll Rand uh, Pro Charge Air and uh, portable compressor. It was like two horsepower one. You, 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 you all see them. We all got them in our garages for the most part if we decide we want to have a little more air. And uh, it was a Charge Air Pro, two horsepower, Ingersoll Rand. Had a date of manufacture of 1983 to 1991. And, uh, cons you know, suspiciously enough, uh, while he was using it, uh, he had it running. And like I said, by now, I don't know the date that his was but it falls within that 1983-1991 time frame and so then um, many years later in 2008-ish or so uh, it exploded that's right the tank exploded and he narrowly escaped death or serious maiming or injury uh, just by the luck of the draw and we're talking five seconds or so it, it was that close that he came to being uh, killed uh, this air compressor was running he had it in his garage and as you can see in the photos I'm going to be putting here uh, he had taken and charged it up and was uh, putting air in his uh, pickup truck tire he was on the passenger side rear tire putting air in it while it was running and then as he got done he of course finished up there he went to the driver's side rear tire and as he bent down the air compressor exploded and this is the results of what happened in looking at it and it dented his pickup truck and broke a window and damaged some other things in the process but he said it was a big boom and when it blew it destroyed a lot of things that it took out with it not only the air compressor now why did this happen well it seems that uh, Ingersoll Rand uh, knew this was a problem and back in uh, 2002 February 26th uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission forced their hand and uh, in cooperation with them uh, Ingersoll Rand Company of Woodcliffe Lake New Jersey is voluntarily recalling 458,000 portable air compressors sold between 1983 and 1991. Internal corrosion to the inner wall of the air receiver tank can cause the air tank to unexpectedly rupture, allowing pressurized air to suddenly and forcefully escape, posing risk of injury to consumers. Well, it could kill you. Uh, they had 11 reports at that time of sudden tank failure in a portable air compressors. Uh, the compressor is a single phase electric motors up to 3 horsepower or gasoline engines up to 8 horsepower with tank sizes up to 30 gallons. The compressors were marketed under various brand names including Ajax, Charge Air Pro, Energe Air, Guardian Power, Mac Tool, Power Force, Rally, Rand 4000, and Steel Driver. The compressors have serial numbers beginning with the prefix C or DC, and model numbers begin with pre pre prefixes and everything. Uh, I'll put a link to this uh, consumer product safety recall, uh, but it has a lot of information under that. And uh, the air compressor receiver tanks do not have infinite life, and that is so true, folks. Even this cobalt I showed you at the beginning of the video has an has a finite life they do not last forever these things are made cheap the steel is thin and after you know a while 
and you don't drain it often enough, that water corrodes and, and does things to it. I bought my cobalt, I want to say back in 2006, roughly. So I'm looking at it being approaching a good 16 years or 15 years now. So, you know, how long do they last? Do we want to take the chance or do we get rid of it? There's no way to really look at it to see if the corrosion is bad enough. And, of course, use and humidity and everything play a big factor in how corroded it is. So it leads you to think that, uh, yeah, you got to make sure uh, what's going on here. Now, the metal alloys that uh, Ingersoll Rand and the company that was building these, uh, they may have been using uh, not such good materials. Uh, we would think that they would build the steel out of something that is semi-corrosion resistant. But again, you know, hey, put out as many as you can and make as much money as you can in the process. So, uh, like my cobalt, you know, will it last forever? No, I do not expect it to. Will I get rid of it soon? I probably will. I'll put it off for sale or something and get rid of it and uh, buy me a new one, an update. But uh, the thing is, you got to maintain these things while you do, and that means taking the, the water out of it. Uh, winter times drier air summer times when you're going to build up that moisture in there so you want to drain it more often that way and not let it set uh, but yeah he uh, he had a rude awakening on that and uh, you know hey maintenance is key as with all things so you want to make sure that if you do have a portable air compressor in your shop and you've had it for a good 15 20 years you might want to think about is it in good shape it looks fine on the outside, but what does it look like on the inside? Because that's the scary part, and that's what you don't know. So you want to make sure that whatever you do, hey, maintenance, 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 and also drain those uh, compressors because you don't want to end up like this compressor here in the photos. You don't want to have that thing blowing up like that next to you. That is definitely bad juju, and you don't want to go that route and have the problems on there. Uh, you know the, but I'll put the link to the uh, to the uh, consumer recall on this. I know it's an old old recall, it's back in 2002, but uh, hey, you never know. Somebody might have that there, and you never know. Some of the newer ones, Chinese, all this other stuff, you never know. What is the quality, and uh, how long will it last? And I'm going to tell you right now, none of these portable air compressors will last forever. And uh, is it worth your life after 20 years or so of use of, you know, having that thing around to continue having it around? Uh, that's getting pretty old and, uh, you know, you never know what the corrosion is going to be. So uh, my little safety thing for you guys today, you might want to make sure that uh, you do check those out and uh, are wary of what happens because, hey, we don't want anybody to get hurt, and I don't want any of my viewers to get hurt. So uh, just letting you know, it, you know, you can apply this to any portable air compressor you have that you have sitting around in your garage for the last 20 years and say to yourself, is this thing really in good shape? And like I said, looks are deceiving. So you want to make sure that you somehow, you know, I don't know, use a camera to get in there and look at it if you can. If not... Maybe the best thing is to get rid of it and get a new one and update. It might seem like a costly thing, but hey, it's better to be safe than dead. So, anyway, my feet hit the floor today. I'm have a great day. I want you to have a great day too, Mac. Mac T uh, Garage is always willing to have you guys comment down below. And also, uh, Band of One plays some great music. Mercy Grill's got one-liners. And I might have a little something else I'm doing. I got a lot of little projects I'm doing now, so there might be a tad bit of extra footage after this. Like, subscribe, and join. watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production. <laughs>